Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Margie and I like to post shopping hauls, grocery hauls, eating videos, vlogs, and everything in between. Excuse my hair. Um, it's pretty gross. I slept on it last night. I came home from my boyfriend's this morning. It is like 8 in the morning right now. Um, and I'm so excited for today's video because it's the long awaited, well for me, um, the pantry organization video. So I'm so excited. Um, we just finished, well the kitchen is not exactly finished yet. We just got our appliances in yesterday. Um, I'm not going to show you guys that in this video really. You might like kind of see them in the background or something but it's because i'm gonna do a whole a whole separate video on the kitchen you can kind of see a little behind me the backsplash which still needs to grout and stuff so it's not completely done yet so i want to wait until everything is completely done to show you guys the full brand new kitchen the new floor and the living room and stuff everything so Today we're just doing the pantry organization. I'm super excited. I hope I have enough like organization bins and stuff. Um, so I'll show you guys what the pantry looks like right now. It is completely empty. So this is what we're, oh, well it's not completely empty. But this is what we're working with. My mom just put some coffee and stuff in here because she brought the coffee machine out. Which has been in her bathroom for like probably two months now because this has been going on forever. But yeah, so. We just have these sliding drawers and stuff, some Polish juice. Um, and then up here as well, we're going to be using this for pantry space as well. Um, I want to get those like hanging shelves that like come down here because we need to utilize this space because it's like so big in there, you know? So you guys are also getting kind of a sneak peek of the kitchen. Um, and then these shelves always give me a hard time. There we go. These we might use for pantry as well. Um, I'm not too sure yet. We're gonna see how much we can fit into this first before we start using the one over there. And excuse the mess, yes, it is still very messy. We still have like tape on the floors and stuff, but I was given the okay to start organizing the pantry, so of course, you know, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna clear all this stuff off of this um, countertop real quick bring out all the pantry stuff and I'm not going to record that just because it's going to take a very long time because we have stuff pretty much all over the house right now in the garage in my mom's room and everything so I'm just going to bring this stuff out here and then I'll set you guys up so you can watch how I plan and put everything away and I'm so excited to see the final product so yep this is what we're starting with <laughs> so pretty much you guys are going to see the kitchen right now but I just wanted to show you what we're working with so this is all supposed to fit in the pantry you guys i don't know why i started this because there's so much stuff and it's supposed to all fit in like there and there oh my god like i don't even know where to start like i don't even have any counter space to like do anything because Right now what I want to do is like organize stuff like I already put kind of most of the canned stuff here and like I try to keep all the cereals in like one spot but like that's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of just random so I really don't know where to start like you guys I want to cry. So far what I've done is put all of our teas in here. My mom really likes tea. We're a Polish household we drink a lot of tea. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna set the camera up now so you guys can watch me try to put this away. Wish me luck. It's probably not gonna be perfect. It's probably gonna be changed a few times after I do this all, but we're gonna do our best. So let's see what I can do. So before I start, or start organizing, I just wanted to show you guys I have all of these organizational baskets, some of these, some of these. This one is actually like a dish, dish pan. <laughs> and then I have a few of these, a lot of these, and then some of these containers for, I don't know, I'm probably going to put like rice and stuff in here, maybe pasta. I don't, I don't really like these for cereal though. So I have four of those, and then I have some smaller ones, and these really big 
rectangular ones. And most of these are from Walmart, or no, most of these are from Dollar Tree, some of them are from Walmart. And then I also have these chalkboard stickers. These are 16 pieces. These are from Walmart. So I got two of those and then, ugh, I just have like chalk marker and stuff so I can label stuff. <sighs> I really don't wanna do this anymore, but we're just gonna get started. The sooner I start, the sooner I finish, right? So let's get into it. And there's my- <laughs> there they are, just hanging out. My dog and my sis, Nori. Oh, she's a good girl. All right, let's just get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna just use the chalkboard stickers and this container and I'm gonna put jasmine rice in here because we have a lot of jasmine rice. So that's what we're doing first. So what I think I'm gonna do is put all the cereals up there because I feel like that's where they would fit the best. So, let's see how many cereals we have, eh? So in this clip, I was just kind of trying to organize everything together, like put all the coffee with the coffee and all that type of stuff. 
and it kind of worked, but I kind of ended up just not really doing that. So you'll just see. <laughs> So far, I kind of just put some snacks in here. Um, I'm just trying to get stuff out of the way right now. But, oh. So right now, that's what we have in there. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's really zoomed in. I'm gonna keep organizing this stuff over here now so I can put more stuff together. Probably put like coffee and stuff up there. Um, yeah, so let's just keep organizing. progress slowly but surely so I have all the pasta done I started the snacks the cereals are up there which I showed all of you I showed you guys all that so far and then I know I said I was gonna like organize stuff into piles but I find that it's easier to just put stuff in bins as I go which is probably not a good idea because I'm probably forgetting some stuff on the other side of my countertop but it's fine so we're just gonna keep doing it the way we're doing it and then if we have little stragglers at the end stragglers scragglers stragglers i don't know stuff that needs to be put somewhere then we will find a place for it but for now 
I'm gonna do another pasta container actually because I told you guys we have a lot of pasta but I'm gonna put all the bagged ones so I put all the box ones in the one I just showed you first and now we're just gonna put the bagged ones
in this clip, I was just showing how I actually replaced the condiments bin with chips, and then I showed you where I put the condiments bin instead.
you guys so i'm finally done i started around eight i want to say um i did have lunch though but it is now 12 20 and i didn't really take many breaks so it's been a long time <sighs> i'm so tired plus i only slept for like a few hours last night because i got up with my boyfriend and he gets up for work at like 4 30 ish and we didn't go to bed until like 11 something so but I am so excited to show you guys the final product. I hope you are excited. I mean, you saw along the way how I was doing everything and stuff and some stuff. I actually ended up putting like in drawers and stuff just cause it doesn't fit and it's not that practical to put it like all the way up there where nobody can reach. But enough talk. Let me just get into the final product. I hope you guys are excited. Okay, so we're gonna start with the main pantry, of course. So when you open it up, by the way, I may have changed some things. I don't remember if I showed you guys or not. So in the top shelf, um, before I did have all the condiments here, but I feel like it just wasn't practical because if you wanted to get the coffee, it would be really hard. And it was just super heavy drawer too, and I didn't want it to like collapse. So we have the coffee bin back there with all the coffees. And then up here, I just put, um, mainly like chips and stuff and then i put some extra popcorn bags and like a fruit syrup and stuff that we like to use in our tea sometimes you even just put that in water and it's really good <laughs> and then over here this is like the snack zone so we have granola bars and stuff there's like applesauce under there raisins triscuits these little um nut medley mixes Pringles, peanut butter, Nutella, popcorn, more popcorn, and then just a random mashed potato box back there because we don't really have many of those. And then just some more snacks, granola bars, peanuts, Hershey bars, all that. There's like chocolates in here and stuff. So yeah, this is like the drawer when you first open, you know, eye level when you just need a little quick sugar boost, I guess. Then the third one down, this is the one with the two pastas. So these are all like the boxed, box, boxed <laughs> pastas and stuff. And then this one bag I put in there too, just cause it won't fit in here. And then these are all the bag ones, you guys. My mom is crazy. She has so many of these Polish noodles. She makes so many different soups and stuff, but I don't think she realizes how many she actually has. So I'm excited for her to come home from work and see. I'm be like, girl, you better not buy noodles for a long time. Cause we got a lot to go through. And then the next drawer down, we got the two brown rices and the jasmine rice in the middle. And then over here, I just labeled this one as grains um, because there's kind of a little bit of everything. There's like barley, some extra rice, some like cauliflower rice, just like, you know, quinoa, stuff like that. And then this one is labeled canned meat, Ooh, canned meat and fish. Um, so yeah. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty boring, pretty gross. I don't really like most of this stuff. And yes, it is pretty dusty. I should have probably wiped that off because um, a lot of this stuff was actually in our garage, just like in big bags and stuff. And then on the bottom, we have all of the canned goods. And there are a lot of canned goods. We have a lot to go through. Um, there's a lot of beans and like tomato based stuff for the most part and then like corn and green beans and stuff but I like cooking like um, easy crock pot meals and stuff that are just really quick you know and a lot of them have like beans, corn and stuff. And then up here um, all I really put are the cereals and then this thing of um, like K-cups. The hazelnut ones because they wouldn't fit in the coffee thing back there so there's nothing actually behind the cereals either it's just that up there and i didn't put anything on the top shelf either because practicality who's gonna reach up there not me i'm not getting a ladder <laughs> okay and then let's turn around real quick excuse the mess i still have to clean up so in this drawer we just have a bunch of tea I was gonna put the spices in here, but there's nowhere near enough room, so we just have tea in there. And then, in the next one, we have the spices. So I tried to put like all the Walmart spices together, and then I put the little guys down there too. 
some random white wine vinegar. And then here I put kind of like weird miscellaneous bigger ones and then the McCormick brand too. And then these are from Dollar Tree, these two. And then over here, it's kind of also just random stuff. Um, I want to eventually get like those containers they sell on Amazon where it's like a spice container and they're all the same, you know? So it would be nice, way more aesthetically pleasing if these were all in the same container. And then this is just some homemade Italian seasoning stuff that I made once. And I want to get like a smaller, like skinnier type thing here, either in this drawer or here just to put like all our chip clips and stuff because I could have swore I had like little containers and stuff and now I don't know where they are. So moving on, this is, I don't know what I would call this drawer. So it's kind of just like random miscellaneous stuff. So these are all of my mom's like spices and like baking stuff. She gets these from the Polish store. <sighs> if you're Polish, you're probably dying right now because this is like, <laughs> so funny i don't know why i think it's so funny but so i organized this for her i showed you guys too because it was disgusting she had like random stuff in here like latex gloves and like a thermometer i'm like okay and then we just have like a lipton tea chia seeds flax seeds uh ground pepper like for backup cornstarch salt turmeric um and then some hot chocolate mix and that's pretty much it in here by the way, she might end up changing this, which is fine. But I sent her a picture and she said she likes it so far, so. And then this is like the baking slash condiments drawer. So originally this condiments thing was up there with the coffee. But I moved it down here just because I feel like it's more practical. You can see more of like what's in there and stuff. And then over here I just put flour, um, coconut flakes, brown sugar, powdered sugar, Walnuts that my mom bakes with this baking frosting thing. That's just sugar and then we have Crisco shortening Hershey's cocoa some vanilla extract or this is the vanilla imitation and then some lemon extract I think and then we have a lot of chocolate chips So I just put those all in one little container And then these drawers are staying empty for now because I don't really have much else to put in them, so I'm just gonna see what she does with it. And then, hey guys. <laughs> and then up here is the final thing of the pantry organization. So we just have, honestly, random stuff that I couldn't really think of a better place for. So up there we just have some like backup things, some applesauce, rice cakes, pickles, this Polish juice. And then in here, we just have more pickles and pasta sauce. And then this is kind of like the breakfast little area with like oats, um, protein waffles, and then oatmeals and stuff. And then here, um, kind of just random again, there's like three things of ramen. And then these little like crackers, they're like a healthy version of like a bread cracker. I don't know, they're kind of hard to explain. They're really good though. And they're really um, low in calories too. I like those a lot. And then just some instant coffee over here. We don't really use that. <laughs> and yeah. So that is it for the pantry organization. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to do, surprisingly. Um, it was kind of tricky learning how to set up my tripod and stuff because this one's new and I had to like angle it and like put it higher and lower and all these. I thought I had a bruise. Um, but yeah, so make sure you guys stay tuned because I am going to be doing a full kitchen tour soon once everything is complete. Um, we just have to paint the walls and stuff. Um, but I am going to do a full kitchen tour and show you guys inside all the drawers, all the cabinets and stuff. And hopefully when I do that, the pantry is so organized because this took me like four hours and it was very tiring and I'm tired. But I'm very happy it's done. I did the best I could with the space that we have. Um, I, Like I said, I wish we had a bigger pantry, you know? Like we redid the whole kitchen and we kept the same size pantry. Which is a little bit annoying, but hey, it's not my house. So when I get my own house, then I can complain, right? Anyway, I hope my family's grateful because I still organize the pantry, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, thumbs up, same thing. 
I'm brain dead if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Leave a comment below about anything. Yeah, I'm so tired. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stuff. Turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Be sure to check it out because it might be the kitchen tour. Hopefully. Maybe I'll have another video in between that though. Alright, bye guys.